Hi. Right. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a species area curve, which can be useful in your Provo River paper or in your nature experience paper. And essentially what it is, is it shows the number of samples you need to collect until you have pretty much collected all of the species and you get an estimate of how many different species are in that, uh, in that sample. So, and it can be useful in the Provo River to show we've collected all of the, about all of the organisms that exist in the Provo River at this location or for something similar to that in your nature experience. It's just to show we've done enough work that uh, we've, we believe our data is accurate. Now, to access this data, you'll go to Learning Suite, go to the Provo River paper, and then not in the Provo River resources, just the normal one, and it should be the first one at the top. And it pulls up this, this uh, sheet. Now, the there's also all these other years, so you can make a species area curve for other years to show how the health of the Provo River has changed or how accurate your data is against other years. Um, now, the way we do this is we f have to make these this chart that shows how many different species were found. And so the way I like to do this is I just click on the first, uh, the first time that every, an organism was found by group. So um, I would go down and then go across until I found it. So like for this, for this one, it wasn't until all the way towards the middle or end that it was found. So I highlight that. And then I count up all of the green boxes and add them in to how many each group found that was new. And then you add those up going along in a new, uh, in a new row. And then if you copy all this data, copy all the data and paste it then into your own sheet, then you can make this graph. Now to do that, you insert a chart, edit the chart, and you'll want it to be a scatter plot. Then for your data range, you'll select all of this information, hit enter, switch the rows and columns, and then we can take out this group unique species because that's not what we're looking at and just leave the total unique species. And the group number is already our x-axis. And now to add in this trend line, you'll go to series, which is like your y-axis, add in a trend line, and we want it to be logarithmic. Now from here, you can just edit your axis titles and how you want them labeled, um, maximum and minimum values, and your grid lines or ticks that just adds in these things at the bottom. And you can put in multiple years on the same graph through doing the same process and making a chart. Just in your setup, you'll add add a data range. So you'll highlight that chart and then add a new series. And you can also click this and then highlight any information. And then it'll add a new block for you. And that should be all. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask your TAs or Dr. Nelson and they can show you how 
to make a species area curve or how it applies to your nature experience or the purple river paper. Thank you.